The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 31. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 1st, 1973, in London, England. Translation. Considering your specific duty as a Chatriya, you should know that there is no better engagement for you than fighting on religious principles, and so there is no need for hesitation. Sadharma Swami Swami Om and Dharma means occupation. Dharma means occupation and Swam means own. Sadharma, coins own occupation. So, according to Vedic civilization, everyone has his own sadharma. This has been uh, misinterpreted by the rascals. Sadharma means anyone can discover his own religious principle. Jatamat tato. Whatever you think a religious principle, that's all. This is why. <coughs> but that is not the meaning. Sadharma means own occupation. Actually, dharma means which you cannot give up. Dhridhatu uh, You have to capture it. To keep your existence, you must uh, capture it. So, because we have got body and soul, two different things, so a combination, body and soul, that is already explained very nicely in so many ways. So actually sadharma means the occupation of the soul. <coughs> because in the material condition we do not understand what I am. Whether I am this body, I am so. Mostly people, they do not know that uh, one is soul, not this body. Body is the dress or out, outward covering, external covering, certain covering and gross covering. But so long one is in the bodily concept of life, so one has got different occupational duty according to the conception of the body. So the nature is uh, being conducted by three modes of nature. Therefore, according to one's nature, there is occupational duty. That is scientific division. At the present moment, there is no such division. Therefore, gradually people are degrading to the lowest quality, ignorant, sudra. They are taking to the sudra principles. So, yesterday I was presented with a paper, uh, Indian government scheme to help people starting small scale industries and government is ready to help. Uh, you sit cross legged, not like this. All of it. Uh, so uh, a small industry there so many motor parts, so many other parts, about two hundred, three hundred items, uh, government is ready to help the small thing just. But the government does not know, or the leaders do not know, 
that to engage people in such industrial affairs means to bring them to the Shudra platform. Shudra platform. Every government is encouraging people how to become Shudra. But actually, the human society must be divided into four parts, four divisions, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. Just like uh, in our body, there is division. The head department, the arms department, the belly department, and the leg department. You cannot say, let there be only leg department. There is no use of head and arms and belly. Will that go on nicely? If your body, uh, you cut off all other parts and simply keep the legs, will that be very nice proposal? Leg is required. But if you keep the body only by the legs, uh, then this, this kind of body is dead body. Any part of the body, especially the head, if you cut off the head, then the body is altogether dead. You can cut off the arms, you can cut off the legs, uh, but it is very difficult to cut off the belly of it. Then it will be dead. So, uh, sadharma. Sadharma means the division, kshatriya division of the society. Uh, the Brahman division, the kshatriya division, the Vaishya division, and the Sudra division. Everything is required. It is not that Sudra is not required. Sudra is required. But if you make propaganda simply to make people Sudra, then who will give direction? If there is no head, who will give the direction? So, uh, a Kshatriya, Kshatriya has got a very uh, difficult task to see. Kshatriya means government, uh, the governing division. The, the governing division has got a very important duty to see that everyone is following his duty. The brāhmaṇa is following his duty, a kshatriya is following his duty, Vaishya is following the duty, and sudra. That is, government's duty is, uh, just like in India nowadays, uh, it has become a secular government. Secular government means uh, imper impartial to any a religious system. But the government should not be so callous that religious in religious principle let people do whatever he likes. No. The government cannot do so. You can say that you are Hindu, you execute your own system of religion. You are Muslim, you can execute your system of religion. You are, you are Christian, you follow your system of religion. You are Buddhist, you follow your system of religion. But the government cannot be callous that whatever they may follow or whatever may they not do, and government is neutral. No. Anyone, if he is uh, professing himself that I am Hindu, then it is the government duty to see whether he is actually executing the Hindu principles of religion. That is a secular state. If you are calling himself a Muslim, then it is government duty to see that whether actually you are following the Muslim principles of religion. If you are a Christian, it is the government duty is to see that uh, you are following the Christian principles of religion. Not that callous. Later you can do whatever you like. No. Satya's uh, duty is to see. The king, government's duty is to see. Uh, similarly, 
If one is claiming that uh, he is a Brahman, then it is the government's duty to see whether he is strictly following the Brahmana principles, Sama Dhamma Siddhi Khar Java, whether he is strictly following how to become self-controlled, how to remain always pure, clean, suchi. Brahman Sanada name is suchi, always clean. Uh, similarly, uh, Arjava, simplicity, Brahman's life should be very simple. Uh, they should not imitate the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas and the Shudras. Uh, so these principles, whether one is actually following the Brahminical principle. So here Krishna is pointing out that as a Kshatriya, you must follow your principle, Kshatriya principle. Uh, what is Kshatriya principle? Satriya principle is that dharmādhi yuddhya, dharmādhi yuddhya, chaya anya, satriya sanavidyate. Satriya must be always prepared and is required to fight also whether people are keeping their own principle of living. That is satriya. He a brāhmaṇa is bluffing people that I am brāhmaṇa, but he is acting as a sudra, immediately Chatriya should point out and offer him fight. Why you are cheating people? Why you are cheating people? Uh, uh, similarly, a khatriya is, is declaring himself as Chatriya, but he is acting as a sudra. It is the Chatriya, the government's duty, that why you are cheating people? So a khatriya's business is always prepared to fight. Fight means that oh, to see that everyone is acting nicely. Because if you are not acting nicely, and if I say that you are not acting nicely, you will be angry. Mukhasad Mukudeshad prakopāyana sāntai. Because if one is actually brāhmaṇa, he must act as a brāhmaṇa. So if somebody says that you are declaring yourself as brāhmaṇa, but you are not following the brāhmaṇa principle, he will be angry. But a chatriya's duty is that if he is angry, he should be punished immediately. He should be punished immediately. That chatriya says, yudhyā, Dharmādhi yudhyā, he should challenge. Challenging means yuddha, fight. So, chatriya cannot be non-violent. It is not possible. The violence is also required to keep the social system strictly in order. Just like the government has violence department, the police department, the military department, that is required to keep up the society in order. Here Krishna says that you are satriya, your duty is to fight dharma yudhya This fight arranged by me in the battlefield of Purukshatra, because it is sanctioned by me, it is dharma yuddha it is religious piety. It is not the political diplomats declaring war to keep the people in ignorance. No. It is sanctioned by Krishna. Whatever is sanctioned by Krishna, that is dharma. Uh, dharma, uh, the explanation of dharma, I have several times given you, the dharma is sanctioned bhagavat Whatever God sanctions, that is dharma. So, God Krishna personally has sanctions, sanctioned this battle for Kurukshetra, so therefore it is dharma, dharma yuddha, religious fight. It is not ordinary fighting of the diplomats and the politicians. It is dharma yuddha. So therefore he says, dharma yuddhya chriya anna chatriya sanavidyate, your chatriya, your fighting for the sake of a religious system, that is your first class duty, Shriya. 
So, Khatriya, these four principles must be there in the society. Brahman says, so Brahman will not be required to fight. A Brahman will not be required to work like Sudra. A Brahman will not be required to work like Bhusha. Therefore, Brahman can beg. Paton, paton, jajan, jajan, dana, pratigra. This is Brahman's business. He must be good scholar in Vedic literature. And he must teach others. Not that I have learnt everything, I will not teach. No. Uh, Brahman must be well versed in the Vedic literature and he must preach also, make others also Brahmana, Pathan Pathan. Not that I have become Brahmana. So there is no need of others uh, becoming Brahmana, there will be competition. Uh, just like in India, they have become very much afraid that I am making Europeans and Americans Brahmanas. So they are very much against me. They come to fight with me. Uh, so uh, in Hyderabad they came to fight. Sir, you are making Brahmanas, these Europeans and Americans. Uh, this is not good. And why not? So we had some discussion. So actually uh, it is not that Brahmana is made by but Brahmana means Chakutmanang Maya system guna karma vibhag by quality and work. Similarly, everything by quality and work. This is confirmed by Narad Muni. Jasahi Jatla Khanam Shah Barnabhi Banyaka. Jadi Annatrapi Diseta Tati Naivakini Diseta. Jadi Annatra is the Brahminical qualities are uh, visible, manifest elsewhere. Elsewhere may be Isudra, may be Chandala. That pain I have been this day. So you, one should accept him as Brahman. Similarly, if one is born in Brahman or family, but his qualities are like Sudra, that pain I have been this day, he should be accepted as Sudra. Uh, this is the injunction given by Naradumani not an ordinary person. Tattva naiva vinidvisa. And upon this, the greatest authority uh, of comment on Srimad Bhagavatam, Siddhar Sami, he, he has commented that uh, Janva of birth is not the chief uh, requisition to become uh, Samadamadi. Uh, one must be qualified with some of the Tritikha, Suchi, then he should be accepted. So it is the duty of the Chatriya. Unfortunately, uh, the so-called government men, they are also Sudras. The so-called priests, they are also Sudras. The so-called Vaishyas, they are Sudras. The whole world is now full of Sudras. Uh, so you cannot expect anything very nice. Uh, in this uh, situation, because everything is being conducted by Sudra. Uh, so, uh, Krishna is advising Arjuna that uh, this fight is not ordinary fight. It is Dharma uh, and you should accept it, you should not hesitate. Uh, after all, the uh, soul is never gay, it is the duty. Uh, it is the duty of different dharma. The sadharma, sadharma is so long one is in the bodily concept of life. This sadharma means this Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudha. This is sadharma. Uh, and Arjuna belongs to the Kshatriya, therefore his sadharma, his occupation and duty is to fight. Uh, so, uh, and real sadharma is a spiritual sadharma. In the spiritual, so when you go deep into the matter, when you understand that uh, I am not this body, I am so, then that is real sadharma. 
Uh, and what is the occupation of that sadharma? That is uh, to be engaged in the service of the law. Jibel Saru Poy Nitta Krishna Das. Actually that is sadharma. Every soul is eternally servant of Krishna. Uh, that is a spiritual sadharma. And material sadharma means this Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Surya. Therefore, this sadharma changes. Sadharma changes as soon as one is elevated to the spiritual platform. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Sagunan samapitta etan brahma bhuyaya kalpate. Who? Brahma bhuyaya kalpate. One who is engaged in devotional service. A devotee's position is transcendental. He has no, no more sadharma in the bodily concept of life. Because he is neither brāhmaṇa, neither kshatriya, nor vaiṣya, nor śūdhya. Chaitanya Mahāprabhu has said that I am not a brāhmaṇa, I am not a śūdhya, I am not a kshatriya, I am not a brahmachari, I am not a sannyāsī. In this way he negativated all the eight items because Sadhana means Varnas Sandhana, Varnanas, four castes, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Sudra, and four spiritual order, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Bhānaprastha, and Sanya. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu denied that I am not this, I am not this, I am not that, I am not that. Then what you are? Then Gopi Bhattu Padakamale Udasa Udasa Amudasa. Jiva is Sarupha Nitya Krishna. Gopi Bhattu meant the uh, maintainer of the gopis, Krishna, Gopi Bhattu. Uh, Gopi Bhattu Padakamalaya. I uh, am the servant of the lotus, a servant of the servant of the servant of the servant who is engaged in the service of the lotus feet of Krishna. Uh, so uh, this is Krishna, those who are in Krishna consciousness, those who are decided to serve Krishna only, uh, they are no longer in the categories of sadharma, the bodily sadharma, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, Brahmachari, Bana, Prasta. He is transcendent. That is confirmed in every sastra. Uh, so, so far we are concerned, Krishna conscious. Uh, so long our bodily concept of life is not completely eradicated. We must follow the sadharma of the body, Brahman, Chatri, Vaisa, Sudra, Chitta. But when actually advanced, uh, that is Mahabhava, uh, we should not imitate that. But our process is, the more we advance in Krishna consciousness, we become transcendental to this bodily concept of life, Brahman, Chatri, Vaisa, Sudra. But Krishna said, Mahāca-vyāri-cārini bhakti-yogena-jāsivate sagunāna-samatita-itāna-brahma-bhūyā-kalpate. So anyone who engages himself without any reservation to the service of the Lord, he is not within the category of this eight varnāsana. He is transcendent. So brahma-bhūyā-kalpate. So as a Krishna consciousness person, uh, he can act like anything by the order of Krishna. Uh, he can act as a Brahman, he can act as a Sudra, uh, because his main business is to carry out Krishna's order. Uh, he is no longer within the category of this order. So Krishna uh, uh, asked him, Arjuna, that if you are thinking uh, in the bodily concept of life, then also, but first of all, when I have ordered, I have sanctioned, you can work it uh, beyond the bodily concept of life. But if you are thinking still that you are in the bodily concept of life, then as a chatya, it is your duty to find. Uh, Krishna is trying to uh, 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 put Ajo in the dilemma. This way or that way, you must have to find. Uh, if you think, 
that you are not in bodily concept of life, then it is my order you must fight. Uh, if you think that you are in bodily concept of life, then you are a Kshatriya, you must fight. Both ways. You have to fight. This is Krishna's country. Thank you very much.